When you cut the cord, you can save a ton of money, but if you're replacing cable with streaming services, you may need a device to hook up to your TV. One affordable option is the Amazon Fire TV Stick. I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to navigate your new device. Let's see what's in the box. A start guide, an HDMI extender, a micro USB cable, two AAA batteries, a wall plug power adapter, a remote, and the Fire TV stick. So let's start setting it up. Step one, plug it in. First, take the micro USB cable and plug the small end into your Fire stick. Then, put the other end into the wall adapter and plug it into the wall. Now, we'll plug the Fire stick into an HDMI port on the TV. I tried to plug it in, but couldn't because it bumped against another cable that was already connected. Luckily, the Fire Stick comes with an HDMI extender that can make it easier for your Fire Stick to stay in place. Connect the extender to the device, then plug the extender into the HDMI port on your TV. Remember the number next to the input you chose. You'll need it in a minute. Step 2. Tune your TV. On your TV remote, use the input, source, or similar button to tune your TV to the same input as your Fire Stick. The input on the source menu should match the number next to the HDMI port on your TV where you plugged in the device. Once you select the right input, you should see the welcome screen. In order to work your Fire Stick, you need to use the Amazon remote provided. Insert AAA batteries into the back of the remote in the direction indicated. The remote should then pair automatically. Step 3. Start the on-screen setup. Once you set up your remote, click the play pause button and select your language. Then, the Fire TV stick will scan for Wi-Fi. Select your Wi-Fi name, input your password, and wait for the device to connect to your wireless internet. The Fire Stick will then check for updates. You may need to wait a few minutes for the update installation and for the device to restart. Step 4. Activate your Amazon Fire TV stick. Now you'll link the streaming device to your Amazon account. If you already have an Amazon account, just type your login information and sign in. If not, you'll have to create a new account. I found that creating a new account on a computer was easier than signing up via the Fire TV Stick. Once your account is created, choose I already have an Amazon account and use your credentials. This process registers your device and connects it to your account. Step 5. Choose your preferences and complete the setup. Once you've logged in, you can choose to save your Wi-Fi password to your Amazon account to let it connect compatible devices that you're logged in on. Next, you can enable parental controls if you want. After that, it's time to finish the Amazon remote setup so that you can control the volume and power your TV on and off with it. Make sure the volume is turned up on your TV. Now, sound will play and the device will prompt you to use the volume button on your Amazon remote to turn it up or down to test if the remote works. If it does not work, select No and follow the on-screen instructions to fix it. If it does work, choose Yes and you're all set up! Step 6. Customize and enjoy your Amazon Fire TV Stick. Now Amazon will show you channels that you can add to your home screen to access them more easily. Once you select the ones you want, click Finish. If you want to add more streaming service shortcuts later, you can scroll across the top to the Apps page and select more channels to add to your home screen. And if you're looking for a specific one, just use the search function on the far left of the upper menu to find it quickly. Now you can start watching TV. Subscribe to our channel and watch some of our other videos to learn more about cutting the cord. And find more money-saving information at Clark.com.